Ladies and gentlemen, also on Sunday, we greet you heartily with information which the mass media withholds. Welcome. So, for example, the mainstream media almost certainly did not report to you that the new Ukrainian president, Pyotr Poroshenko, is doing exactly the same thing as President Yanukovych did. Yanukovych was, however, as a result, violently removed from office. Listen again carefully today. The newly elected Ukrainian chocolate president, Pyotr Poroshenko, requested by telephone on Monday the 26th of May 2014 from the European Union bosses, José Manuel Barroso and Hermann van Rompuy, a postponement of the proceedings for signing the Economic Association Agreement with the EU for an indefinite period of time. So because of what our media is withholding from us concerning these procedures, let's review what happened earlier this year in the Maidan crisis in Kiev. Remember how this crisis started? The so-called Euro Maidan was the start of the protest demonstration in Kiev, Ukraine, beginning on the 21st of November 2013. It was apparently triggered by the government at the time not being willing to sign the association agreement. President Yanukovych asked then for a postponement of the procedure for an indefinite period of time. Following this, demonstrations began in Kiev against him. The following reasons were given for this. First, he supposedly was a henchman of the oligarchy. Second, he took advantage of the people and collected treasures for himself. Third, he did not want to sign the association agreement with the EU. What did the new powers in Kiev do after the bloody, violent overthrowing of Yanukovych? The territory was immediately divided up between the oligarchy who had been criticized beforehand. One of them was even elected as the new president. Economically, the situation has massively deteriorated, while beforehand the oligarchy had improved things a little bit. The praised association agreement with the EU, which was presented to the citizens on the Internet page of the newly elected President Poroshenko as membership in the EU, has been postponed for an indefinite period of time. Instead of seeing improvement for Ukraine and its citizens, we are seeing the following developments. The new government's so-called anti-terror operations, directed in the meantime at civilians, its own citizens, have enormously increased. In the east of the country, tens of thousands of people are fleeing from the army. The increasing violence is accompanied by the requests of the new president for military support from NATO against the revolting terrorists in the east. We know this scenario already very well from Syria. Because of these developments and the circumstance that the EU is strangely holding back instead of intervening in the wave of violence from the Ukrainian government, things are becoming clearer and clearer for the thoughtful citizen. This overthrow and all the confusion and chaos was certainly not about economics or democracy, and we do well to ask the question, was the goal from the start to create an occasion for NATO to invade? Valued viewers, please ask yourselves these questions as well, and make sure you watch alternatives to mainstream media, for example, Kla TV's previous programs concerning the Ukraine crisis. Look them up under the rubric Terror. Listen to these counter-voices and then form your own opinion. For today, goodbye.